Today's video is brought to you by Sports and Ray's Energy Drink. We need to talk about chapter 1060. I did the review the other day. If you want to watch it, you know, link will be in the description down below. Um, but I've been thinking about it and what the heck? Oda literally broke the story of One Piece. And we need to discuss what happened. I have three questions that I will be answering. One, did we just see Uranus, the ancient weapon? And two, does Eam Sama have access to Uranus? And three, did we already see Uranus before this point in the story? The access, uh, the answer to all three questions is yes. Yes. That was Uranus. It's the only thing that makes sense. Yes, Im Sama has access to Uranus. And yes, we saw Uranus before. And bonus. This is the same thing that happened to God Valley. This is how it got erased from history. The same way the Lucia Kingdom got erased from history. What's the Lucia Kingdom? I don't know, never heard of it. That's what's gonna happen. Same reason nobody's ever heard of God Valley until Sengoku brought it up. So, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so it's the video because I post a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I do fandom theories and discussions such as One Piece, Harry Potter, Disney, Star Wars, and more. So, let's get into it. But before we discuss Uranus, which I'm saying Uranus because I want to say Uranus, even though that's the way it's spelled, you know, it's Uranus, but yeah. Before we get into today's video, quick word from our sponsor, Raise Your Drink, over at repsports.com, R E P P sports.com. Use coupon code Johnny Huey, save yourself 15% off. Delicious. Today's video is brought to you by Ray's Energy Drink. So good. A ton of different flavors. BCA aminos. There you got zero sugar, zero dyes, zero calories. This stuff is just great. You know. Look at zeros all the way down. No crash, no BS. I've had many, many drinks in my day, and I've drinking many different companies, and this is the best. Definitely, you know, keeps me awake all day. You know, I wake up at five o'clock in the morning to go to work. Five o'clock right now, actually. And I'll be good for the rest of the day. If you go to repsports.com, that's R-E-P-P -P sports.com. You can go to the website. Uh, you can see that they have, you know, not just energy drinks, but they have uh, 
protein flapjack mix. Uh, you can buy uh, different uh, vitamin pills, uh, weight loss products, even a pill, everything. This place is awesome. And in 2021, Rage with the Clash of Clans champions. We beat out Monster, Red Bull, and all those other companies. So go to repsports.com, use coupon code Johnny Huey for 15% off. Let's get back to the video. Alright, so where do I begin? Okay, so in the last chapter, we saw this image right here of just obliteration of the Lucia Kingdom. Obliteration. Now, at first, I thought maybe this is Eam Sama's, you know, devil food ability, which it still could be. But there's a few other things that lead into it that make me think it's Uranus. You know, we see Eam Sama cross off Lucia Kingdom on a map and then <laughs> gone. And it says never existed. Now I thought maybe she had some kind of weird devil power that she just marked something on a map and it makes it a reality. Which actually come to think of it, that's actually kinda of neat. Think about that. I'm gonna do another video. Not today, but just think about this, you know, concept of a devil fruit that whatever you draw becomes a reality for everyone around you. So you're the world government. You could create maps. You could draw an island and say, hey, there's an island here. Come find it. And, you know, it's there and everybody knows about the island. Or you cross that island off and it disappears out of existence. Like, literally disappears. People forget about it. It's no longer on any other map in the world. Like, you drew, you draw on your map, it appears on every other map. So if somebody has Lucia Kingdom on a map and Eames crosses it off, it disappears off every map that it's on just erases the existence of it. That's interesting. Anyway, let's get back to Uranus. So, we know, you know, so when Lucy Kingdom, Lucy Kingdom got destroyed and never existed, the first thing I thought about was God Valley. This must be what happened to God Valley and why it also never existed and it's not on any map. So the government definitely has control over the existence of something. You know, if they don't want people to know about an island, they can cover it up. It's easy. It's the government. They can do it. No problem. So let's say that Eam doesn't have the devil fruit and is control of Uranus. Maybe she controls it with the paintbrush. Maybe she just, you know, did that for aesthetic and, you know, has another way of controlling it. I don't know. But Uranus definitely is something in the sky. Because we know by the three ancient weapons, Uranus, Pluton, and... Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Wow. Poseidon. So... If Pluton is a ship, which would be on sea level, land level, and Poseidon is Shirohoshi under the water, then Uranus must be in the sky. Or you could also look at it as Pluton is, you know, God of the Underworld in Greek mythology and he would be underground and he's under the ground of Wano, which we know where that ancient weapon is. We know where two ancient weapons are. We have seen Poseidon. We have 
heard the location of Bhutan. Bhutan and Wano. But we've never seen Uranus. We've only heard about it. Or have we seen it? So, when you see a kingdom gets attacked, you see this big cloud come over and cover the entire kingdom. And then these dangers shoot down, creating this massive explosion. What if I told you we have already seen this before? Remember Beiji right um, before like, the, the time skip? And he was sailing, and this big, massive thing was floating above with these, like, things on it. And he got sucked out of the ocean and was carried away, and they had to figure a way to get off. That thing that just was random, and nobody even thought about it. Nobody even blinked an eye. Just, oh, that was weird. Oda drew that, specifically. But never mentioned it again. Nobody thought about it. Nobody discussed it. Those little things on the bottom is what shoots down. You know, lasers or something. And the reason Beiji got sucked up towards it is because it's so massive, it could possibly have its own gravitational pull. It's basically like a planet that has come down to Earth. A small rock planet that, you know, is named Uranus. Yes, I believe the thing that lifted Beiji out of the water was Uranus. So we've already seen Uranus. Oda, why do you do this? You put these random things in place? Don't even mention it again. And then thousand chapters later, well, not thousand chapters later, but, you know, 500 or so chapters later, oh, uh, iron explodes. And you, I think you do it on purpose. You want us to see if we, as fans, can connect the dots. Anyway, so yes, I believe we saw you on us already back before the time skip then when Sengoku mentioned you uh God Valley and the disappearance Uranus destroyed it and then Uranus destroyed Usia Kingdom so the government has access to Uranus somehow it's controlled by Eam. Somehow she knows how to control it. Somehow she moves around and she marks on the map and, you know, that's what happens. So when Beiji got stuck in it, she could have been sending it someplace else to another island that we don't know about. And we're never going to know about because the existence is gone forever. Or does Eam just have it float around all over the place waiting waiting to shoot down or blow up an island the mount explosion that that thing caused though there's no way Sabo survives no way and that's kind of scary to think that the government has access to this now another uh, side thought was um I believe they were using Uranus. I'm going to call it Uranus. Uranus. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to call it Uranus because that's what it is. If you don't think so, comment down below. Anyway, I'm going to say it's Uranus just for the sake of saying it. Um, so when the government or when Eam wanted to destroy the Lucia Kingdom using Uranus, I think Sabo was there. At the wrong time. Wrong place. Wrong time. I don't think they destroyed Lucia Kingdom just because of him. It was 
more or less because they rebelled. And we could see that they rebelled because they had the king locked up. And the government said, look, we can't have this. Just wipe them away. They're, they're rebelling against the king. You know, they're just wipe them away. Now, the government didn't want to do that. That was more Eam. The government has no idea what's going on over there. The rebellion, you know, the revolutionary army is getting people walled up. We're rebelling against the kings. And, you know, this king is like, when we talk to the Marines and, you know, the. That I can help you. The, the government that you love and you think that is on your side just annihilated you. <laughs> Either way, I think Sal was just in the wrong place, wrong time. And the government tried to cut his feet because they didn't want the Marines listening in to hear that their government is a lie because Eames sits on the throne. Very interesting. It's going to be very interesting to see where the story goes. Oda, Oda, Oda. You just... I... Sometimes I just don't know what to say. Because just... Oda does these things all the time. And if I'm right about Uranus and that orb that sucked up Beiji is Uranus, then that would be technically we know of all three. Well, yeah. If that is Uranus, we know of all three ancient weapons and we could potentially get four ancient weapons so my meat by that is you know Shiro is definitely going to side with Luffy we can get Pluton from Wano and Frankie has the blueprints well memorized the blueprints to Pluton and he probably could build a second one so you have two Plutons, Shirohoshi, fighting against the government, which has Uranus. I... Here's a thought. Maybe Uranus. Somehow, we get Uranus to go over Mary Joa and just blast it. Do it to Mary Joa with Uranus. Destroy the Red Line. Prophecy comes true of the Red Line being destroyed by Fishman Island. Fishman come up using the Noah. Yeah, I want to see Uranus blast Mary Joa. You know. Yeah. I want to see the Red Line, Mary Joa, and a big ball of blue fire exploding. That's what's going to happen. I'm calling it now. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring that bell so you miss the video because I post the video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And make sure you check out my merch store in the link down below, as well as my Patreon page. On my Patreon page, I have content just for supporters i have videos and content on there just for you i got merch coming just for you and you get early access to videos before i release them to everyone else so check out the link down below i got tiers starting at one dollar so go check it out thank you so much What's up, YouTube? This is the end of the video. Oh, man. I, I, I gotta close this out. This is just... Uh, you're honest. Everything. This has been just crazy. And... This story is getting insane. 
I picked a bad time to actually start doing One Piece videos because I'm like at the end here and it's just. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Check out these videos down below and hit Lilo's face. Lilo's my dog for my Patreon. Check it out. See you guys next time.